Not long ago, I made a video about the Boofwang UV5R and the Boofwang BF F8 HP radios. Spoiler alert, they are basically the same radio. But my point is, in that video, I inadvertently showed the custom startup message that I programmed into one of those radios. And this has led to an outpouring of questions asking, how did I get those custom messages on those radios? In case you are not following along up to this point, a custom startup message is a message that shows on the screen of your radio when you first turn it on, like this. Or like this. Or like this. So in this video, I will teach you step by step how you can add your very own custom startup message on your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. So basically, by the end of this video, you will pretty much be a licensed ham radio operator. Allow me to begin. In order to add your very own custom startup message, you will need three things. Number one, you will need a Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. Number B, you will need a programming cable. This cable is necessary to interface your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio to your personal computing device. If you do not have a programming cable, let not your heart be troubled, because verily I say unto you, they cost only about $20. And of course, for your convenience, I will leave an affiliate link below. Number four, as I alluded to only moments ago, you will need a personal computing device. It can be any flavor of personal computing device, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Number five, you will need the Chirp programming software installed on the aforementioned computing machine because you cannot make this change on your radio directly. The only way to add a custom startup message to your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio is by using software, such as the previously mentioned Chirp software. And finally, although not absolutely necessary, it is helpful if you also have a sense of humor. The Chirp software is free to download and you can download it from the Chirp website at chirpmyradio.com. And the very first thing that you must understand about the Chirp website is that if you choose to click on one of the advertisements on the website and you get sent off to some other website trying to sell you something, do not, do not come back here and leave stupid comments complaining that Chirp is a scam. Instead, please learn how to actually use your internet and then try again. Because I have grown weary of deleting comments from stupid people that are incapable of understanding the difference between being on the Chirp website or being on some other website after they've clicked on one of the ads. After the Chirp software has been installed to your computing device and after your radio has been connected to your computer using the aforementioned cable, you must then download the existing settings in your radio into your computing device and thusly the Chirp software. In this example, sharp-eyed viewers will note that I am using a Radio Oddity UV5G, which is just a Boofwang with a different sticker on it. And after the spirit of your radio has been downloaded into the Chirp software, simply click on the Settings tab near the top, then click on the option labeled Other on the left side of the screen. First of all, make sure that the power on setting near the bottom of the list of options is set to message. Then in the middle of the screen where it says power on message one and power on message two is where you will enter your witty, humorous, or crude new startup message. Do not, do not mess with any other settings unless you actually know what you are doing. I feel compelled to mention this because if you are watching this video to learn how to do something as simple as setting up the startup message, my guess is you have no clue what you are doing, so please heed my warning. 
Finally, after making your changes, you must then upload these changes back into your radio. And if you did everything right, the next time you power on your radio, you will be greeted with your stupid startup message. And now allow me to take just a moment to answer some of the very common questions regarding the startup message. And the first question is, how do you add additional lines of text or more letters to the startup message? And the answer is, you don't. The second common question is, how do you change how long the startup message displays on the screen before it disappears? And that one is easy. The answer is, you don't. And the third common question out of my list of 10 common questions, and this is probably the most common, and something that you actually can do, is how do you set the c- 